The Civil War was caused by the differences of the North and South. Those differences were mainly slavery and states' rights. Slavery was supported by the South. However, the North greatly disliked it and outlawed it in most of their states. The African Americans of America were considered inferior to the common man and were treated as property and not humans. Slaves were bought and sold like animals. This led to the Civil War. The bloodiest battle in American history and the most important in the Civil War was the Battle of Gettysburg. It was the turning point in this disastrous war. In the Battle of Gettysburg, the North defeated the South. However, it was at a great cost of lives. Over 23,000 Americans. President Lincoln later commemorated the soldiers that died there with a funeral. It was there that he gave his famous Gettysburg Address. The points of view in our nation differ from North to South. The South wanted freedom from the North and the right to own slaves. This was outlined in a famous quote by Jefferson Davis. Our situation illustrates the American idea that governments rest on the consent of government and that it is the right of the people to alter or abolish them whenever they become destructive of the ends for which they were established. The Norse wanted to keep the great union together and abolish the felony known as slavery. This is outlined by the president during the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln on December 1st, 1862 in his annual message to Congress in giving freedom to the slave to the slave. We assure freedom to the free, honorable alike in what we give and what we preserve. We shall nobly save or meanly lose the last best hope of Earth. The North has strategic advantages of its miles and miles of railroads and its telegraph lines, which allow near instant communication. It also had grand cities of massive populations and a great network of industry. The South had fertile land for farming and forest that provided strategic hiding places for armies. They also had rivers that allowed to, them to transport soldiers and supplies to most locations. After the Civil War, the South's population was devastated. Their economy was completely destroyed, and with the slaves spread, many farmers went out of business. Many of the South's political leaders were imprisoned because of their part in the war. After much of the infrastructure of the South was severely damaged, the Civil War may have had a great cost of lives, but it brought our nation together again, and it bred slaves, making all men truly free.